Greetings all and welcome back to the channel for another quick informal discussion about a new up and coming handout that I found out about recently. And this is it here, it's going to be called the PowerKitty RGB20 Pro. And it's got a whole thread on the SPC Gaming Reddit forum. So you can go and check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below for you. And yeah, it's definitely one of the strangest looking vertical handouts I've seen in quite a while. It's got a very Star Wars, original Star Wars sci-fi vibe to it. Looks like one of those communicators that they used in these old sci-fi movies. And this, this uh, see-through perspex cover that it has in the front here, which is definitely something that I've not seen on previous handouts. So quite unique. This little window down at the bottom here apparently was a design choice by the designer. There's a lot of speculation that it may have some other functionality, but um, the general consensus is that it was just for the looks. And the other standout feature is this little small 3 by 2 inch, 4 by 3 uh, aspect ratio screen with a 1024 by 768 resolution. So this is quite a high resolution for the smaller screen. Usually these devices have resolutions of 640 by 480, which is already produces quite impressive graphics. But, um, but uh, with this higher resolution screen, it would really outdo all of those. The one thing though is that there's a lot of doubt in the community whether or not it would be able to be fully utilized on such a small screen, such a high resolution on such a small screen. So we'll have to wait and see how this plays out when PowerKitty actually releases the device and we can see some hands-on reviews from proper reviewers. The one thing we do not know, however, is what kind of CPU will be in this unit. Going on the naming though, uh, the pro naming and the high resolution screen, I would think that it would need to be something quite powerful. So something in the range of a G99, MediaTek G99 chipset, which is found in the ZPGA1 Unicorn. This little unit can play a lot of PS2 and GameCube games, not all of them. It is kind of a competitor to the Anbudic RG556, which can play almost all GameCube and PS2 games. It could possibly be a Rockchip 3588 processor, which is the older brother to the 3566, which is found in the PowerKitty RGB30. So the RGB30 could not play any PS2 or GameCube games, if I'm not mistaken. But the 3588 looks to be quite impressive. Um, some of the benchmarks I've seen as it outperforming the 3566 by quite a bit. So yeah, it would be quite nice if we could get a very powerful chip in this kind of form factor. Um, some people love this. A lot of people think that it is quite ugly. What are your opinions? Let me know. It's going to come in quite a range of colors. This kind of very darkish green, bright blue, this mustard yellow and a gray. So it's definitely turning a few heads and it's got a lot of people talking. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Would this be an interesting form factor for you? Would you want to uh, order one of these from PowerKitty? That's it for this one though. Just wanted to bring you a quick update about this new unit from PowerKitty. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed watching. Have a nice day and uh, I'll see you in the next tech update. Wow, <laughs>